audio for video. Right now I'm about eight feet from the camera. You're listening to a Rode VideoMic Pro plugged in on top of a Canon 5D Mark III. Obviously, the closer you get to the microphone and the camera, uh, the better it sounds. Now, you want to use a microphone other than the internal microphone. This is what the internal microphone sounds like. No one wants to hear this, it just it sounds terrible. A lot of you probably already know that you can stick a little microphone on top of your camera to record better audio, but what about the other options? Audio can get so, so confusing. So today I'm going to talk about the other options, lavalier mics, otherwise known as LAVs, and then also shotgun microphones, and how to use those by recording directly into the camera or using an external recorder. All this means is the audio is going to a recorder that is recording to an SD card that you can then take out of the recorder after you're done and line it up with the footage during post-production. So let's get into it. This is what my camera looks like with the audio you just heard with the Rode VideoMic Pro. Quick tip, whenever you're recording audio straight into the camera and are in a controlled environment, turn the audio to manual and turn it down. Let the mic preamps do most of the work. You will get less hiss. But keep it on automatic if you're doing something like vlogging or are recording something very loud when the audio is unpredictable. Right now you're listening to my favorite way to record audio with the Rode Link Wireless Filmmaker Kit. All of the product links will be in the description below. The Rode Link is a convenient way to record audio straight to your camera or external recorder wirelessly. You simply plug in the receiver into your camera and the included lav mic into the transmitter. You turn the receiver and transmitter on and they start working. It's really that simple. Lav mics are great when you want to mic directly on the talent. It's popular to clip the mic onto the talent's shirt, but I have found a great alternative. Use the Rode InvisiLav silicone system. It allows you to hide the lav underneath the shirt and you won't hear the scraping of the shirt against the mic. The adhesive it comes with is actually terrible, so I suggest buying some type of double-sided tape for clothing. Every time you stop recording on your camera, the audio will stop. So if you want one continuous track of audio, you can plug the receiver into an external recorder like a Tascam DR40 via an adapter. This is what I did for Creative Spaces TV and it worked great. If you want two LAVs running at the same time, you can plug both of them into something like the DR40 or the Zoom H4n and use a preamp like the Juice Link to record both of them directly into the camera. I've been using the Rode Filmmaker Kit uh, LAV system for the majority of this video, but this is what this LAV sounds like. It's the cheap Amazon LAV. The biggest downside is you cannot use the Invisi LAV to hide this one. Now moving on to shotgun microphones. Shotgun mics are typically set up on a boom pole. That boom pole is then used by an audio person to follow the subject around and capture the audio via an external recorder. You will see this in behind the scenes of TV shows or movies because that's usually how they do audio. The second way is to put the boom pole and shotgun mic onto a C stand using a few miscellaneous accessories. This setup is fantastic for interviews. If you have multiple subjects moving in and out of the same location, you can just set up your mic and you're good to go. Also, if you don't wanna use a lav, it's great, but you can also use a lav and this setup just to have a reliable source of backup audio because something always goes wrong, it seems like, with audio, unfortunately. Again, this way can be recorded straight into your camera via a a preamp that allows for an XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack connection or straight into an external recorder like the DR40. Keep in mind that lining up audio in post-production will always take a longer time than if the audio is already connected to the video. If you found this video helpful, let me know, hit that like button, and also share it with a fellow filmmaker friend who might think it will be useful. Also hit that subscribe button, new videos rolling out every single week. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. I was gonna wait a little to share because it's not happening until like midsummer, but I think you're catching on that I am obsessed.